So why would we want to shift? If you use shift to play this character, you may draw two cards. Don't mind if I do. We shift and we draw two cards. It's Rapunzel and the Duke of Weaselton. What's up, gamers? This is another Blue Fossa deck. This is Ready Settings. Blue Fossa V2, and this is recommended from Luke, one of our friends. And Luke said, we don't like what you're doing. We think that you should play Cogsworth and Zisus and Basil Shift Lines. And we say, okay, Luke, let's do it to it. So Mufasa still has the ideas of getting out these big seven cost characters, but we also got a bit of support on the low end. We got Docs, we got Dukes, we got Sleepy. Sleepy's is a weird addition, especially because he comes into play exerted. I don't know what Sleepy is about, but we're gonna find out for sure. So thanks a lot, Luke. If you guys want to play this deck, the link is in the description. Things we learn in this video. Number one, Sleepy actually ain't all that bad. Number two, Shift Basil actually ain't all that bad. Draw two cards, um, yes please. And number three, what card has a 1-4 stat line? When you get to that part of the video, let me know in the comments because I can't figure it out what card they were playing that has a 1-4 stat line. Let me know. Before we do our new deck, we just got a whole bunch of new gems and we are excited about that Savage Hello uh, collection. No, we want to go to the shop. We have a bunch of gems to spend. We already have the squirrel. But what we don't have is fun feet picks. I think we're going to go for the big scary bear claws. There we go. We need to select our scary bear paws. Activate. So the rank season is over right now as of recording until May 17th. So this is in labs. Whatever that means. I think that means that anything kind of goes. We could be playing against the new Ursula Returns. But we're playing our Mufasa deck anyway. We're showing it off. Seeing what it can do. Looks like we don't want any of this. This two drops, okay. King Louie can be ink, so we're keeping them. I think we'll definitely get rid of Basil here. But he is the four cost. Do we actually like this hand? What? What's going on? Usually I mulligan to like get lanterns and stuff, but because we don't have lanterns in this, it's literally an all character deck. I think we're fine with this hand, right? We get to go first, big brain plays here. And like we said, we're in the lab mode. So into the inkwell goes King Louie and we pass the turn. This is lab, so it could be anything. Our opponent has eight cards in hand. They ink the magic brooms. Is that the new one? No, that's the set three one. And then they play no image available. Very cool. Not a card I'd play. No image available has that. I don't know. We ink the stitch. Did we get a dupe? Did we get a two cost? We did get a two cost. His name is Sleepy. And we passed the turn. We have no idea what this card is, so that makes it a little bit more challenging. But that's never stopped us. Oh, whoa, they ink no image available. That's pretty crazy. Luke, I don't know if your deck's working because <laughs> we can't even see our opponent. And they play Chair in a Box Followers. They're choosing a trigger action, which I don't know what the trigger action could have been there. Um... Dude, we just go ahead and ink our stitch. We're inking our big stuff. We're working up to Mufasa as we play our Pongo. And then they didn't quest. We know that. I wonder if it's tapped if it's going to show no image available that way. We're going to quest for two big ones. You'll notice our cool little kitty paws that we just made instead of the little footprints. Now it's kitty paws. And then we pass the turn. What could it be that they're playing? Oh. They go ahead and ink no image available. And then they fire the cannons at our Pluto. Pluto, Pongo, is Gonzo. They quest for one. Do they draw the card here? They do draw a card. They banish their chair in a box and get a card off the tier app. They quest, and we know it's a one more quester. But that's about it. It could be the one cost broom. That's probably likely. It banishes itself to draw a card? Is it really Chernabog? 
Uh, for four, we'll play a basil, so we will ink basil. Welcome to the inkwell. And play a basil. And then we quest for another two big ones and pass the turn. I think we're doing okay, because we're going to get out our Mufasa soon. They ink a broom. Love to see it. And play a big broom. The magic broom, the big sweeper. When this character is at a location, it gets plus two strength. We're going to ink our dock, because what we need is Mufasa's. There's the Mufasa. How much does the big sweeper rate? He's only 1-5. This is a 2-2. Two, two. When you play this character, you may shuffle a card from your discard into his player's deck. Interesting. We are just questing away here. Going up to 8. Next we can quest for 6. But maybe they have some shenanigans to, to wipe us out. They do get the location. It's the Sorcerer's Tower. Characters get plus one more while they're at the Sorcerer's Tower. Luckily, we'll have enough to take out the Sorcerer's Tower. Now we don't have enough to take out the Sorcerer's Tower. We only have uh, six attack power, and this thing has seven. So there is a Shift Basil. The Shift is five, and a Mufasa is five. So why would we want to shift? If you use shift to play this character, you may draw two cards. Don't mind if I do. We shift and we draw two cards. It's Rapunzel and the Duke of Weaselton. And we will ink the Duke of Weaselton. It has two damage on it. And it has three strength. So Mufasa, we could get a top deck for Mufasa here. It's going to be Rapunzel. We play it. We heal our Basil, which doesn't have any damage on it. And that's okay with us. We got to check out this castle. It gains no lore. It just gives character lore. Your characters named Magic Broom move here for freezies. Do we end it? Do we end the broom? So we have damage on us to draw more cards. Or do we quest for three big ones and pass the turn? Weird choices, especially with them questing for two. But it's what we chose, you know? My path is my own, says the stranger from Destiny. You remember that game? Kenny. They're thinking about it. What could their broom want to do? Their broom quest for two. They have five ink to play with. Could we see a Mickey Mouse? We see a no image available that has resist. That's crazy. Does it have rush? Opponent is choosing treasure action. Oh, we get dealt one damage. Is that the beast from set one? It did cost five. Not the beast from set one. Yeah. So we're in a weird spot now where we kind of want to damage the location and heal with her. We're doing weird stuff. We're taking out their broom, saying bye-bye broomy, and then we're healing it. Just to draw some cards. We get the Duke and that guy. And we could shift next turn and draw two cards, and that's pretty funny. But also seven could be Hades for removal, and we kind of need that more. So we're going to play our Duke and quest for two big ones. That's 13, and we quest for nine next turn. So we have game on board, uh, but not for long, because maybe they could take this out. Who knows how much attack power this has? Probably four. It's a five-cost character. What do you think this card is? Tell me in the comment section. Could be anything. It has resist. So it has to be at least from Floodborne. It's not the set one, because set one didn't have any resist characters. They have six ink. They play Grab Your Swords, takes out our Duke. See you later. This card targets our Rapunzel, and she's gone. We're still getting the quest for five, and we'll probably ink them next turn. 
So we are going to follow through with that. We're just going to ink whatever the heck this is. Do we get rid of doc? I think so. And then we questies. We're all the way up to 18. Unless they have a removal for everything, like if they have another grab your swords and a smash, which isn't out of the realm of options, they could clear our board. And then they can see that's a dub for the blue fossa. Like and follow. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys for subscribing. Much appreciated. There is the blue fossa. This is our other blue fossa that we had a good time with before. But Luke, Luke knows better. We get paired against a BBL Drizzy, the Baja Blast. Snooky? Snoochy. Two month patron. Very cool. Um, we need to be a patron. We get rid of those for sure. This is ink. But is it? Why would we keep Zisu? Because it's legendary, and it's legendary for a reason. We get Dakaru, Sleepy, a Mufasa, a Cogsworth, and a Sleepy. They have an invalid deck, which is pretty cool. If we win against it, we'll be goaded. I think we're going to get rid of our dog because we have the three drops that we want, specifically this dog. And we pass the turn. We didn't get any one drops. It's the way it goes sometimes. And... I get you guys might not want me to play against this, but it's what we got right now. They ink a random card, and they play a random card. This could be harder than what we think, but we're doing it. We're sending it uh, for four. Would we rather play that or Zisu? Probably this, because it was pretty good last game, but we'll just go ahead and play that. And then Sleepy enters play exerted, so they could take it out, but it has three willpower. Maybe they have something that does three. They're Baja Blast, so it's not Hook. And it's not Sme. Could be a Flynn. Nope. This one could be a Flynn. It has one. So this one quested for one, and they can quest for two. So they know that these are both two twos. And then they decide to take it out. It's crazy that those are three strength, at least. What is going on? What do we have for three? For three, we have Doc... Did they just heal off that? What is going on? Duke. Welcome to the graveyard. Duke is better than this. The ward is cool. I should have inked that instead. We play the dock. And next turn we can get out of Mufasa. Or next turn we can get out of Cogsworth. Which isn't a bad idea. Hmm. This video is called Blue Fossa though. So. Ooh. We'll see what Mr. Invalid Deck has for us. It looks like it's going to be this card. Ooh! <laughs> Interesting. Interesting choice, inking that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> the quest for one big one. This one can also quest for one. That one quested for one. That one quests for one. They can only quest for four. All these are one questers, and we have no idea what color they are. So that makes stuff a little harsh. We're going to go ahead and ink the sleep. Quest the Dockeroo. And play your boy Mufasa. That's our only hope, Simba. We know we can one-shot these probably with the Mufasa. So that's what we're going to do. We're probably going to attack this with Mufasa. Whatever it is. That's just what we're going to do. We're crazy. They quest. How did they gain a lore? Was that super goofy? It can't be. What gains a lore when they quest? Share Khan? That looks dangerous. Oh, they inked that one. We get Chernabog, 8 4. We definitely want to play our Cogsworth. Do we want to play our Cogsworth now, though? Not a chance. We want to get rid of whatever the heck that is. It's still alive? What has that much power? That was the first card they played, right? 
What is going on? You're telling me it's a 1-4? It did one damage to us? What? What's a 1-4? In blue-green. What's going on? This is probably one of my favorite matches. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. I can't believe they have that card. And it lets them draw a card when they play it? That's crazy. They exerted an item. Don't tell me it's Robin's bow. No, that's Fishbone. Is that Fishbone? They quest. And quest. And quest. An attack? What does one and gains a lore when it attacks? It's at only eight right now. We can go to six. We could play that. Or we could play that. I think we got to ink, so we ink every turn. We'll just get our Zisu down. And we need to put an end to their reign of terror. So that's not a location, that is an item. It's probably Fishbone. Oh, is this Hiram? No, it only had four. Do we take out whatever the heck this is? They quest for three, so that's probably the two and that's probably the one. Does that take it out? It doesn't. And we pass the turn. It's getting kind of scary. We will have a removal next turn, hopefully, if we get an ink. Or if they put two of these baddies into the uh, discard, we can play our Chernabog. They quest, go up by two. They quest, go up to 15, and they play that thing. Whoa! It gains a lore, and they can attack. What gains a lore and attacks? Is that... And that's Fishbone. We got to ink this thing, yeah? We have got to take it out. Question for two. So both of these are just one more attackers. One lures. So both of those are banished. We get to see our Mufasa top deck. It's a Zisu. That's okay with us. It quests for some amount. And do we go ahead and take this out? It quests for one. Well, we could go to two. I think we need to do all we can to take out their characters. Does it have more than four? It doesn't. Yeah. Oh, could I have quested? Bomber. We missed it. We got too excited. They play a card. They get to draw a card when they play it. It costs four. But it's not a rabbit because they're blue green. I guess it because it says invalid deck, it could be a rabbit. But what else costs four in blue green? And when you play it, you draw a card. What's going on? Was the other card a goofy? This is just wackus bonkus. Think wackus bonkus. Do they just exert to put a card from their discard into the inkwell? We get her. Was this Fishbone? How do they have evasive? Oh, was that Tinkerbell and it gave someone evasive? Chernabog goes to the board. We quest. We see what we want to top deck. You already know it's a Cogsworth. Oh, we just get to draw cards when we do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll take a Hades. Hades, yeah, we'll quest you. We'll ink our Cogsworth. For no apparent reason, because we lose next turn. But that's how it goes. They got us. They beat us. 
and we don't even know why. We're doing one more, and we're going against a blue-purple deck, the Blurple, and we'll see if they have valid cards or if it's the new cards that we can't see because we could not figure it out. We gave it a good shot, though. The basil shift is kind of cool. That can be ink. We'll get rid of basil too. We get to go first. We get a Mufasa and a Simba. Do we get rid of our Simba? No, we just get rid of Mr. Stitch right now. And we pass the turn. The blue Fossa is out in force. The ink Cogsworth. Good news. And they play a cheer in a box followers. We get a Doc. Do we ink Doc, or do we ink one of our bears? Not our bears, our lions. Kinda. Well, what do we want? Do we want Simba or Duke? Duke is pretty cool. I think we'll ink our Simba and play our Duke, because Duke is pretty cool. Maleficent goes into the inkwell. And we can see them draw off a chair in a box here. They quest, go to one. And do we see the banishment? We don't, we see the snake to bounce it. That's crazy, dude. We get a basil, or as I like to call him, ink. Putting out a dock here would be cool because then we could have Mufasa out next turn for only four ink. Is it worth it? Are they going to bounce it? I don't think so. I think that'd be worth it. And then just taking the two more and it does damage to them. Or we Simba. And then we get four lore. Four lore or four lore. Either way, it's four lore. So we're good with that. We ink another bear cub or do we ink a dock? I think we ink the dock. Oh, wow. We played the dock. We already inked. What are we thinking? And then we quest for two big ones, and we pass the turn. The ball is in their court. They have two ink. They can go to three, and they can play a snake in the chair in a box. Luckily, they ink the chair in a box followers and play a Detective Mickey that ramps them one card from the top of their deck into their ink well face down and exerted. And then they quest with the snake. Well, did they sing? They sang with the snake. Very cool. We are going to go ahead and get Mufasa online here. Bum, bum, bum. There's Mufasa. He's online. We quest for another two. There's six on the board. Sadly, our Rapunzel isn't going to be able to draw his cards, I guess, unless we, like, attack into Mickey. I don't know. It's not going to net us much because the snake can just eat up our other guys. Can just unhinge your jaw and swallow them up. There's Cogsworth for the resist that makes Madame Mim live. No matter what, she only takes one damage from our sweet Dockeroo. They do one damage onto our Duke of Weaselton. Leave Duke of Weaselton alone. We could play Bodyguard that, or we could draw a card with her. What do you think? Draw a card or play two characters? I think we'll play two characters. Play Dakaru and then I think we will bodyguard it so Snake would have to go into that. That guy definitely quest. And then I think we just keep questing. Questing is how you win the game. If you get to 20 lore, you win the game. And if we attacked, we wouldn't be getting closer to winning the game. They ink and Maleficent. They have seven big ones. And the snake goes right into the Simba. Does their Mickey take out our Duke? Probably. There it is. And there's a Mr. Rabbit to draw them a card. Rabbit gets resist as well. That Cogsworth is doing work. They play another Mickey. 
put a card into the inkwell face down and exert the question for six next time. So we need to get some damage. We'll just take out that snake. That snake's being a threat. Oh, whoops. I forgot that he goes away when I do that. That gives us some card draw. But it means that we're not questing. Dude, we definitely should have just quested. Heal and draw a card. Seven, six. Ink the Cogsworth. We can't choose it, so we just pass. I definitely think we misplayed there. What we want to do was have Rapunzel on the board so she would be able to go into um, Snake next turn and then we would be able to heal the Rapunzel that had three damage from Snake. But we didn't do that. Oh, the Hades gets to put our Mufasa into the Inkwell. Very good plays from them. Inking the McDuck Manor is weird because that would be aggro and something I can't deal with, especially with just this one power character on board. We get a Basil, but do we Hades them right back? Kinda. Then we just Hades them right back, dude. We quest for two, because if we attack with her, it does nothing. It could give us damage uh, on ourselves to heal with her, which might be the call next turn. Which I think is definitely going to be the call next turn. We're going to attack Rabbit next turn with our own Rapunzel so we can draw some cards. Their uh, thing comes into play, and then they're going to buff one of their characters, the Rabbit, to take out Rapunzel. R.I.P. Rapunzel in the chat. So the question is, do we want to get the card draw from attacking Rabbit? Oh, no, we can't do anything. They get to shuffle our Hades. They shuffle their Rabbit, which is good news bears for us. We don't mind that at all. It does mean that we would only get one card draw if we attack. There's a Mim Snake to probably bounce that. Yeah. Question for seven. I say we just do that and play Rapunzel. And if we get to keep the cards on board next turn we can draw two with stitch which it's not likely it's very likely that they're going to get rid of hades because we are cooking weird plays i know the hades gets to ink our hades they go with the rapunzel because they're able to take this out they're able to attack it with the crab and the snake and uh, and the zoop and the zop and the what was that hades that they put back dude big brains they crazy for that. Three damage onto our Hades. And we can see the snake take it out to lunch. And we know that they have the Hades in hand. So any card that we play could be inked next turn. It's not looking good for already setting. Their board is very built at this point. We do get a Mufasa, but they're just going to ink whatever card we play. With the Hades that they have. And they can quest for nine. We play the Stitch. We ink the Mufasa. And we concede the game. It's over for us, boys. There's no getting out of that situation. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the flippity flip.